keep the medical cost in line. So, but I'm just um, well, there, there's not a but. I do appreciate you doing that. I guess we have different options as to how to do it. I, I think the worst thing we can do is just not do anything and then just hope it all works out. That's the worst thing we can do. So I think we need to make a, or help make a decision or give you some direction as to whether you want to go with the proposed plan, mm -hmm. uh, a plan that is just proof that you've had your physical, which should also help uh, control the the cost if you do not have your physical then you be responsible to pick up a portion of your of your insurance and then of course option three is to do nothing and i i don't think that would be a good idea but i'd be interested in hearing what the council has to say about it previous comments we can all say that the wellness program we're all behind that so option three is not an option so the way I see it and this is hurt correct me if I'm wrong but the way I see it there's an option to, to do the coaching and counseling or the same option and not do the coaching and counseling coaching and counseling is going to be an $8,600 option and uh, the uh, the other is a would be it's already built into the wellness program. What is the pleasure of the council to give them uh, a little bit of direction? I'd like to see the wellness program stay intact, and if we add this on as the coaching, then that's fine. I just would like, I me mean, personally, like to see an option given to the employees if they want to go to a personal doctor or go through this process of the screening themselves. That they're allowed to do that and not be penalized because they want to go to their family doctor or the doctor they've been going to for 30 years and not want to go through the Tree of Life network and have it done that way. Okay. That's, I mean, I, like I said, I'll reiterate, the plan is good, it's working, it's going to save us money. But for somebody that doesn't want to and they can show proof that they're going to the doctor, they're getting screened, they're doing the things they're supposed to do, I just have a hard time penalizing that person because they're, going, they're taking their self to I mean, they're taking it upon themselves to go and take care of it. But you're saying as presented, uh, the coaching and counseling. Okay. What's the other thoughts? I can do a little bit. Okay. Fine. Dr. Connor, are you okay with that? All right, Piers, that we're going to go as presented uh, originally. The only question that I see remaining is, does the employee pay for the charge if they use their own doc doctor. You said it was a $10 charge, I believe. Yes, sir. 
what it, what's the pleasure of the council on that? We'll go on to the next topic. So you're saying we will give them the option of using their own doctor? That was... I thought when you said originally presented, I thought she meant the plan that was originally presented well, and didn't have that. Wait, I just need to be sure I'm clear. Did I? Uh, I know that's what uh, Mr. Ryan said. But you did say <coughs> that plan as originally presented. I certainly did. Let me restate that. The plan as originally presented with the uh, option of using your own doctor. As Mr. Ryan just mentioned. Just for the physical and screening too. Wait, may I'll make sure you're clear. Um, are, Mayor, are you referring only to the biometric screening, which is just blood work, or are you wanting to open it up broader to require physical? What, what was the, the original? The original is just, just biometric blood screening. That's what, yes. I, that's what I'm speaking of. Okay. I think I used the term physical a little bit. They, well, they talked about having a complete physical in some of the some of the comments. No, the way you originally presented okay. it with the option of using your own doctor, there's a $10 charge for that if you use your own doctor. Yes. And so that would be, to me, the only thing remaining to decide, to give a little direction on The employee picks up the $10. If they choose to use their own doctor. I think that's fair. If they decide they don't want to go through the screening process at over City Park or go through that coaching and they want to go do it on their stuff, then they can pay the 10 bucks. And I apologize. I guess I just want to be absolutely clear because I'm still not. Are we saying, let me, let me, I'll tell me what we're saying about the coaching. They do or don't have to do the coaching? What parts cost them $10? The administrative fee for processing it when you use your own doctor? Yes. So there's no savings or benefits of coaching. So I say it's, it's for that piece of it where I can pay for the administrative fee. I mean, you know. I don't know where, where's the savings. We're spending money to do the coaching. Is there any real? I mean, what's the difference if they do it or don't? Because I mean, for, we've already cited I think 50 percent or something like that. That number was the one doing the screenings to start with. So you got to imagine that number or less is going to do the, the coaching. So I mean, I guess what I'm asking is, let's say they do or don't do the coaching. Is there an extra cost to them if they do that beyond the ten dollars? Well, that's what the eighty-seven hundred dollars is all total for the screening and the coaching, right? Right. But is that eighty-six hundred dollars that was still paid by the city, and then the employee, if I understood it correctly, would be paying thirty-five dollars every two weeks that's out of their check if they did not do the coaching. Yes, if people chose not to participate in the program at all, there was a cost shift. See, I think I think what I just heard the council say is that they'd like to to participate in the program, it was the decision as to whether they can have their own physical or <coughs> not. hear that correctly? Just let me make sure I'm clear. So if you use your own $10 to get the administrative fee of having, and I will transfer my stuff to whomever, then I don't have to have that deducted out of my check. Is that right? Yes. Oh, so they're paying $10, but you're saving 25 uh, <coughs> But, 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 but what I can't get clear on, if you do it on your own, all you've got to do is you're saying present a physical. You, there's no coaching involved. I think, I, I, think I use the term physical it's in there. Biometric the way so, If you do a biometric screening on your own, are we requiring anyone to do the coaching or no one? That's what I'm not clear on. I think so,